trying to take advantage that the World Cup was hosted in Qatar. Watch this video, it literally makes my day. And homosexuality is not allowed, is it? What do you mean? What's here, here in, in Qatar? Everyone is welcome. Listen, public display of affection is frowned upon, and that goes across the board. Across the board. Qatar is a modest country. That's all that needs to be respected. Other than that, everyone's free to live their life. People can be imprisoned for being homosexual in, in Qatar. People can be imprisoned for being heterosexual in Qatar. I don't understand your question. Are you saying that... Well, heterosexual, homosexual people live in Qatar. Are you saying that homosexual people can be open and I'm feel safe? Public, I think public display of affection is frowned upon. And public display of affection across the board is frowned, up, frowned upon. And homosexuality is not allowed, is it? What do you mean? What's here, here in, in Qatar? Why are Western nations trying to take advantage of the world? All right, all right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, before I begin this lesson, of course, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor uh, to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. All right. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, many blessings to the elect. OK, um, as you just seen in the video, more Western hemisphere activity. OK, uh, what's going on now is uh, the World Cup. And the whole city of the World Cup is Qatar over in the Middle East. And um, basically, you can see this American reporter trying to demonize the country for not allowing homosexuality or just indecent exposure. You know, people all out in public frolicking, twerking uh, like America um, does, you know, people kissing and, and you know, showing lewd um, behavior. Women with these see-through tops and, you know, uh, short shorts and, 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 you know, just very uh, uh, promiscuous, um, you know, attire. You know, men, you know, dressed, you know, inappropriately, um, you know, with their, 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 their chest all out and their legs out. They don't promote that type of uh, spirit in that country. And they have every right to operate and run their country according to the way that they want to run it. But then you have this American reporter that's trying to shame them, okay, and trying. You can see the condescending, um, you know, delivery in her in her approach, okay. She's trying to make it seem as if, you know, what they're doing is wrong by not allowing uh, a public di display of affection. They call it PDA, public dis display of affection, okay. And ultimately, what what this what this infected whore America wants to do is go around spreading her spiritual STDs on these other nations. Okay. That's exactly what you want to do. And when people don't want to partake, people don't want to be a part of that type of activity. They, they like, they try to crucify them in the public eye. And this is nothing but those abominations that's in the cup of Babylon the great, according to the prophecy. Okay. That made the earth drunk. See, you have a lot of these other nations that have drunk of that cup and become like unto this degenerate, nation america okay and that's why the lord is going to burn this whore with nuclear fire okay because she's going around making the earth drunk with her philosophies the wine and the wine represents her philosophies okay her way her ways of life american american ways of life western culture all right the western culture is a very uh counterproductive culture okay and it doesn't promote Righteousness, it doesn't pr promote uh, uh, modesty, it doesn't promote health, okay? It goes against the ways that's upright. And this is why the scriptures call, call her Babylon the Great, which Babylon means a place of confusion, okay? Let's get into the scriptures. This is the book, Revelations, chapter 17, verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. Full of the names of blasphemies, having seven heads and ten horns. Now, that woman represents America. OK, when you go down there to tell you that the woman is that great city, America. OK, that's riding upon the beast. Now, the beast is who? NATO and the EU, the seven heads and the ten horns. OK, which is that 
nor which stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, which some call it OTAN. All right. That's the beast that America's riding upon because America controls the beast. OK, continuing on verse four. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet. And that 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 is a um, an analogy of her beauty. OK, if you look at America from the outside in, you know, it looks like a beautiful place. OK, people come here and, and you know, they want to live the American dream. They, they feel like they have freedom. They're not under strict regulations, women's lib and so on and so forth. But when they really get over here and see the actual inner workings of this country, they see how low it is. OK, this is a diabolical uh, society. It doesn't promote family structures or nothing. The divorce rate is sky high. OK, it's, it's, it's morbidly obese. It's the stupidest country in the world. OK, Americans are stupid. The, only, the, the, the smartest people that live in America are, are actually um, foreigners. These, you know, this society is, has been dumbed down. You look at the media and what's on TV with their program and their children and the world is all folly. OK, but on the outside looking in, she looks beautiful. All right. It's just like if you was to see a, 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 a image of New York City at night or California or Chicago at night. You know, those skylines look amazing. You may see, a, you know, they may show a commercial with, you know, a, a nice suburban subdivision, you know, uh, you know, the dogs running and the women jogging, you know, the sprinklers going off, nice green grass. OK, that's what they show. But when you get here, you, you go to New York City, you're going to see bums, rats, possums, you know, you're going to see gangs. You, it's going to smell, stink. OK, and that's likened unto America, the woman. All right. It says in deck with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And that, that, that represents her ways of life, her philosophies, Christianity, Roman Catholicism. You got everything over here. Islam, Buddhism, Satanism. OK. You could be atheists. You got everything. OK, so this is a filthy, abominable place full of division full of murder and violence, drug usage, lies and witchcraft, okay, adultery. And that's what you've seen on the video that I played in the beginning of the lesson, okay? This man was, you know, practically saying, look, we don't allow public display of affection. That's our laws. We uphold our country. We're a modest country. We're not a lewd country like you, Okay? Amer you Americans like to disguise your lewdness and your freakiness as freedom. That's not freedom. OK. That's you being a, a imbecile. That's you being a brute, a rogue, disorderly creature. That's not freedom. OK. And that golden cup. See, that cup looks beautiful. But what's inside of that cup is pure poison. All right. It's scum. OK. Verse five and upon her forehead was written mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. And when you break that down, <clears throat> um, when you when you uh, break that word down in the Hebrew or, the, or that that um, that writing that I just read, when you break that down in the Hebrew, it equals up to six hundred and sixty six. OK, there, if you go by the heat, he he break numerical. Uh, value of the words it all equal up to 666 which we know that that's the number of the beast all right the high side stigma which ultimately represents you know being implanted by that palisade by that device okay so uh, america is easily identified in the bible it goes by babylon the great the mystery city okay that's why it's called a mystery, because a lot of people don't know that this is the mother of harlots. All right. The abomination of the earth an abomination is a filthy, evil, wicked act. OK. And that's what you see trying to condemn whoever that that dude was from Qatar. But he's just saying, look, our country is a modest country. America just wants everybody to be exactly like them. And then when they do lay in bed with you, it's all kind of penalties and you going and invading them and 
establishing puppet governments and dismantling their whole structure, you know, without regard. So that's why the Lord is going to blow the ass off of America. All right, let's get a, what's that, Jer, uh, Jeremiah. That's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon, okay. Well, as a matter of fact, let me read verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul, meaning spiritually. You know, spiritually flee from this corrupted place, man. Okay? Don't allow the corruption and the, 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 the filth of this place pollute you. So deliver every man his soul. Okay? Cr go back to your Yahweh Bashim Shai. Learn of his ways. Study of his meekness. Study of his faith and his journey. You know, understand what he's asking us to do in these latter times. And strive for the truth unto death. Go hard. Okay? That's how you deliver your soul. Be not cut off and hurry, iniquities. Okay? Meaning don't partake in the things that she's doing and receive her sins. Okay? Ask for forgiveness and repentance and the, Lord, the Lord's blood, the sprinkling of Yahweh Shah's blood will cover that. All right. It says, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Notice it's describing describing this Babylon in the book of Jeremiah as a her. The same thing that we just read in the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter. The woman, that her. All right. Because American America operates in a, a, as a feminine country. This is a very feminine based country. All right. All their deities are, 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 are feminine female deities and li women's lib and statue of liberty okay left hand energy really is feminine energy okay so that's america babylon have been a golden cup in the lord's hand showing you that that yahweh bashima was shy created babylon okay he created this he allowed this kingdom to be established in his earth for the purpose of bringing judgment and deliverance so Babylon still is in the Lord's hand. All right. It says that made all the earth drunk with what? Like we said earlier with their their uh, their philosophies, their way of life. OK, through lending, trade. OK, making deals and, you know, f getting funded. OK, the nations have drunk of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad because people are starting to see that it's all bullshit. It's all scum. All right. It's not real. It's not true. There's no there's no real value in operating a, a, a country the way that America operates their country. All right. That's why America is going to fall, because it's going around the earth, creating division and war and, and you know, under underhanded dealings. OK. Matter of fact, let's get another scripture in the book of Ezekiel. I think it's Ezekiel 26 about the scum. Okay. Let's get a, let's see where it's at. Hold on one second. Scum. Twenty four and six. All right, Ezekiel twenty four and six. Wherefore thus saith the Lord, Woe to the bloody city. What is the bloody city? America. Okay. How is America the bloody city? Because it was established on blood. That's easy. That's in American history. That's in world history. That's in schools. And, and that's common understanding that America was established by blood of the Native American Indians and, and the so-called Negro slaves. Okay? So this is the bloody city. And the scripture says, woe to her, meaning destruction, to the pot whose scum is therein. Let's get the word scum. All right, let's get the word scum. Then I'm going to close it out due to, uh, uh, what's the name? All right. Now, the word scum is what? Rust, disease, rust. And don't the scriptures tell you in Second uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, uh, trust not in thy enemy. For so does so as iron rust, so does for as iron rust, if so does her wickedness. So the scum is the rust, is the filth, the debauchery of this goddamn place, man. Okay? 
Continuing on, it says, uh, what was that? To the pot whose scum is therein and whose scum is not going out of it. Bring it out piece by piece. Let, lo let no lot fall upon it. So that, 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 that filth in that cup is what America is using to operate and control the earth in like manner. And you just see it in the video. Okay? So I just wanted to share that, Lord willing. That was an edifying lesson to the next time. Giving all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah, Basham, and Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, many blessings to the elect. Shalom.